Hey peeps, and welcome back to a, another episode of Faster Than Light. And I just have to say, okay, so this might be the lack of sleep talking, because I, for the first time in a very, very long time, decided to kind of pull an almost all-nighter last night gaming. I was playing The Long Dark, I was having a lot of fun, I wasn't recording, it was after I'd done all my recording, and I was like, I just wanted to play a chill game, and I ended up playing it until, well, with the time change, 5 a.m. Um, but... <clears throat> So I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, and my body definitely was like, dude, we can't do this anymore. We're too old for this crap. Um, but I, I do have to say that it just was really nice, and that I'm really, let's head off to the next sector. Really excited. Should, let's go in the room. I, I might be regretting this, but I don't want to be blind. Once the Federation forces were scattered, the rebels came down hard on the locals here between the tax collectors and military bases. The rebel presence in the sector is high. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that getting back in the channel, and I was thinking, I'll probably talk about this in the next channel update, because in the last one I hadn't really jumped fully in it yet, or it hadn't settled in, but being self-employed and, which means that I sort of have time, like I still, it's like I'm doing it on top of a full-time job, but like during the day, if I want to, you know, upload and do do a little bit of stuff, um, or if I have to, I don't get to one video on the weekend, I record during the week, like having that flexibility, I, I'm just really loving playing video games. Like when I first chose to do Faster the Light on the channel, I wasn't super excited about it. And same with Crash Lanes, like I've, I haven't felt as into Crash Lanes as I thought it was going to be. And Subnautica and The Long Dark I'm really, really into. Darkest Dungeon I'm eh about, but like Sproggy Wood was like another one that I just was like, I want to try this on the channel. And I'm just loving gaming again. Like, I haven't felt this way about gaming in a really long time. Um, my, like for, for about this many different games. My way of enjoying gaming was usually get stuck on one game and like, eat, sleep and breathe that game for that time. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, we need to actually get, get going on our work here. Um, you arrive at the Sector C, small federation outpost, using their anti-ship battery to fire an automated drone. Dr breeze from other ships is strewn around the area. It looks like the brunt of the battle is already over. You move in to assist. Okay. Okay, wait. I forgot you could pause this game. So I was freaking out and not getting stuff done. We need to start pausing the game as part of my problem so that we can make some decisions. Now our FTL drive is charging. Um, also, I am drinking a soda and I don't normally drink soda, but they didn't have any, I wanted like a sweet tea, like I normally drink peace, um, peach tea. And they didn't have it, like our IGA, or our uh, grocery store, we call them IGAs here, uh, ran out super quickly. Yeah, or runs out of stuff super quickly. Okay, so we need time to charge our weapons. So we're unpaused. Um, anyways, it runs out of stuff way too quickly. And, um, I, so I didn't have it, so I got a Dr. Pepper, because I really needed something to wake me up. Okay, burst laser. Wow, you're not supposed to be missing. Okay, see what damage it did. Oh, we busted their hole. Well, it's a drone, so it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so we just need time to let our stuff charge. ASB target locked. I don't know what that means. Okay. Okay, we've got Artemis back. Let's try to only use the burst laser. We gotta be a little bit conservative. Yeah, I knew that we could get away with that. A little bit conservative. Um, okay, cool. So we got our one... Um, oh, we've got seven hold points. Oh, sorry. I should read. I Again, I'm gonna apologize. I'm like... I don't feel tired anymore today, but I almost feel like 
I don't know, hyper in a way, because I've, I've drank half of a 20 ounce, so 10 ounces of soda when I don't normally drink soda, and I just ate lunch, and I took a shower, and I feel all fresh and energized, and trust me, in like two hours, I'm going to be singing a different tune. Um, okay, so you contact the station once the rebel ship is destroyed. The lone survival response. The space is no longer safe. Let me join your crew, and I'll have the station drones patch up your ship. Heck yes. So we got a new crew member. Also, um, so I did this in the Darkest Dungeon series, and nobody has responded, which really bums me out. But you can rename crew members in this. And so if, um, I, I've tried this as a Patreon thing, and I don't think we're big enough to do that. Um, where, like, anybody who's a patron supporter, like, I'd randomly pick. And anyways, so what I'm going to do is if you want to be a crew member, put your, in the comments below, let me know which character you want to be named after, or you want named after you. Um, and I, and it's going to be first come, first serve. So whoever comments first, I will name the character after you. So anyways, um, if you want to do that, let me know in the comments below. Let's look around. Okay, so Yaz is good at engines and repair. Willow is good at weapons, engines. I think I kind of got them mixed up there. So Valerie is our driver. Varnus is good at nothing. I'm going to put Varnus. I believe shields is the best place. So wait, this is Yaz. Okay, they're all in the right spot now. Right? Yeah. So Varnus go there. Nice. So we've got another crew member. Now we're going to give Yaz a little bit of time to do that. We're going to go ahead and jump while he's there. You know what? No, we're not. I just, I rethought that. Um, also, do we want to upgrade anything? Are you fully healed? Yes. Okay, come back here. Are you fully healed? Uh, you're not fully healed, but I don't want to have to restart our drive thing. Okay, so also do we want to do any upgrades? Let's look at the ship. Now, we need to upgrade our weapons two more times and our power two more times in order to... We need more scrap. We need to really be working on getting um, some scrap. Now, a really cheap upgrade would be to upgrade our weapons and so I'm gonna do that one or not our weapons our engine and we'll put that extra power in there I think I'm gonna just accept that right now let's put the extra power in there because then we can evade a little bit better and what we could do I mean we can always put the Hermes up front here but we're gonna we could put the glaive beam if we did the glaive beam and the Artemis we only have to upgrade that once and that once but we'll we'll deal with that in a minute so we're gonna jump there. That's the only place we can jump. Okay, a rebel ship is guarding this beacon. You order a pursuit course and prepare to scratch up once more. Okay. Oh, we have a, no, they have a drone. Okay, let's see here. What do we want to do? You know, if we kept upgrading the weapons and we could always pull out of like, we don't need the med bay necessarily. At, well, Anyways, we gotta let our weapons charge here for a second. Okay, got our weapons charged. Let's go for first thing we're going to do, burst laser, their um, drone thing, and then we're gonna, get, we're gonna target their weapons. Oh, that was perfect. We actually pulled somebody out. That'll give us time. We need to charge our weapons faster, so having... Okay. First laser, their weapons. Nice. Now... I'm leery to rely too much on Arnos, but let's just target their shields. Now we've, we've pulled them out of shields. We're pretty much just like dragging people all over the place. Okay, let's let the burst laser... And we're going to target... The enemy ships appear to be powering its FTL. It's trying to escape. Should we accept their offer? They can't escape right now. We're not going to accept their offer. Because we're going to recharge before they can ever escape. 
shoot their weapons. Or their... Yes! See, he was trying to run. Ship explodes leaving behind a substantial collection of useful... Oh, well, we pretty much got what we... Okay, let's look at ship repairs. So let's upgrade our power. By two. Okay, so next we'll upgrade our weapons. So let's go ahead and jump. I want to visit more places if we can. So we can get more scrap. Uh, a rebel autonomous scout is exploring this beacon. You attempt to hide behind a boom, but the ship finds you and be begins its assault. The ship starts to power its FDL. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay, we need our weapons to charge. I It bugs me that I can't add power to that. So we've just got excess power right now, which is fine. Um... All right, bud, I need you to come here. We didn't mean to open that door. Go help him fight. No, you gotta go help him fight the fire. Oh, okay. We're having serious issues here. Okay, burst laser that drone. Artemis kill their weapon. Let's take out their firepower first. Okay, that is a good help. Okay, you... Unfortunately, I do need you to come help with this fire. Uh, engine's critical, warning shield's critical. It's okay, we've got it under control. Okay, wait, no, you stop, you go here. Oh no. Get out of there. Okay. We also need to be firing. Let's get their sh knock their shields down. They don't have anything, anybody to repair that stuff apparently. Okay. Yes, we need you to repair engines. Actually, you come back. You go back to weapons. I'm not gonna waste our Artemis if you're wondering why I'm not firing it because they don't have the means to fire. Crap. Uh. Shoot. Okay, so we need to send. I should have used Artemis. That was my bad. I can't. Can't unclick. There we go. So I need you to heal up. Can you go heal? All right, engines are back, but I'm gonna give us time to repair them. That was an unfortunate outcome, but it is what it is. Okay, you finish repairing the engines, and what we should be doing? Oh no, go go there we should be doing is keeping these doors open and vented in case somebody comes in. Okay, so now you go here. I'm gonna let him heal up. It's kind of a little bit boring to have to sit there and wait for that, but I'm trying to play conservatively and smart, which is what I love about rogue games. Um, Roguelike games is because it's like with Sproggy Wood, like when I, it takes me like three or four tries to get a level, but I get a little bit better at it every time. Ugh. Yeah, we gotta do the long jump here. With the Rebel Fleet. Uh, once you arrive at the location of the distress, distress call, a civilization ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depo depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Okay. Continue. All right, so we can just go ahead and jump. Staying ahead of the fleet as best we can. We receive generic advertisements from a nearby public shipyard. It seems they are willing to work on any ship, not only those of Rebel Hue. So let's fix all. We can't afford any of that. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna dump our money into that, unfortunately. 
and we're gonna need some fuel. Might as well. Let's go here and then to the quest marker. Uh, you come across a rebel automated scout ship pursuing a civilian ship. Weapons engaged. Aid the civilian ship. You power up your weapons to engage the automated ship. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Oop, we're not quite there. Weapons are not hot. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to have you come here. And we're just gonna vent that. Oh, perfect. You can look out. Okay, pause, 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 pause. So first things first, we need to take that drone out and those weapons out. Nice. So we got the drone taken out. Um, our things are okay. We've got shields are down, which is not good. Okay, fires out. Close those. I'm gonna let him work on that for just a second. First slave reserve is live. Take out the engines. We're gonna use Artemis to take out the shield. I don't wanna I don't wanna risk anything. Okay. You go here and fix that. He's probably gonna take a little bit of damage while he's in there. Which is fine. As soon as the burst laser's live, we're gonna go ahead and take that ship down. Sweetness! The sh tail ship breaks apart. You hasten to c contact the civilian ship. The civilian ship wisely made fast retreat while you distracted the hostile ship. Cool. So we gotta get our, our shields live. Everything else is good. Oh, wait. Come fix this. Alright, our shields are now live. go heal up. Let's get these two healed up. And while they're doing that, I just want to look what is it? Our next upgrade 50 and 75. Okay. So we need 125. Okay, Varnas goes here. Valeria is our pilot. We can go ahead and jump to the quest. Shortly after you arrive, the ship you were escorting jumps nearby. They thank you for your help and offer you a reward. Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and jump again. If we jump there, I'm concerned that it won't link us back here. But if we jump here, it should. I'm hoping that I'm not making a bad decision by doing this, but I really want us to get as much scrap as we can. You receive a message low band trial. You're surrounded. We have intruders on board. Style already. Okay, well, that's why. Pause. That's why we vent. Okay, you. I'm gonna send everybody to the med bay right now. And we're gonna vent these guys out. Whoa, why are you going here? No, I said med bay, doofus. Don't be dumb, you're taking damage. Oh, they're all, okay, you go in the med bay. Excuse me, med bay. Oh, he can't fit. Oh yeah, he is. Okay, so they're 1v1-ing. Artemis is live. We need to take out that telepad. First laser is live. Do they have a drone? They do not. Let's take out first laser. Take out their weapons. All right. How are, oh, we're in, the, fighting in the med bay was a smart choice. I did not even like intend to have the consequences of them being healed while they do it, but that's what I should start doing. Okay, so we need to close these so these crush your eyes. It's not doing us any good. All right, nice. So let's take out their oxygen. We started a fire too. Look at us. We're on fire. Well, no, they're on fire. Knock on wood. Okay, so Willow. 
Willow, you are our weapons gal. See how much damage she takes. None. Okay. Yaws goes in the engines. Varnus goes to their shields. Um, we're waiting for our burst laser to charge, and there it is. Target their shields. And the enemy ship's repairing up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Well, they don't have anybody in the pilot's seat, so I'm not too worried about it right this second. I think we have time to charge our burst laser. Oh, no we don't. So let's kill their engine with Artemis. Uh, take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. Come on, they're a rebel. We, we gotta... Or we're a rebel? We gotta take care of this. Skip that. We, we show no mercy. Oh, that's everything they got. So, I don't know if we should start showing mercy because it's not giving us anything extra. I think we have time to jump over here. It's just a store, but we might be able to sell... Resupply, station use. As you prepare to dock. Okay. Uh, I think we're good on everything else. We could... Repair speed is doubled. Combat damage inflicted is halved. We could hire another crew member. Let's fix our ship. A clone bay... Let's buy that. No, let's not. I want the med bay. Um, should we buy, should we hire another crew member? I really want to get our weapons upgraded so we have more weapon systems available to us. Do that. All right, let's jump. You arrived at the long jump range beacon when the FTL charged as you can jump. Because of the war, thousands of colonists have had their supply lines disrupted and found themselves in dire straits. It seems in this system the rebels are sympathetic and are distributing what supplies they can spare. Let's leave them be. We're not going to be that cruel. Whew. We're just barely staying ahead of them. Rock controlled, pirate controlled. Let's go here. We kind of chose a more dangerous path over here, but I'm hoping it'll pay off. The rock people have partially aggressive stance towards alien races trespassing their space. You should tread carefully here. Figure they're better. Oh, we should have gone pirate controlled. So then I wouldn't have to feel guilty about killing them. All right, everything's good on our ship. Something's beeping at me. I don't know what it is. Oh, you know what, guys? We are actually out of time. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. And we will see you next time on Faster Than Light. Bye bye.